Well, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. So today, we got up about three in the morning, got on the road about 4.30, eh, probably closer to five, but we are headed to the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria. Uh, we decided to make this trip. I guess it was around Christmas I decided I wanted to make more trips this year. And this was one of the events I chose to come to. So stick around. We're going to show you everything about what's going on out here in Indiana. And I'm also going to bring something cool home with me. We could talk a little bit more about that. Something I'm adding to the fleet of equipment here at Log Cabin Firewood. Stick around. Look at the stars, how they shine for you and everything you do because it was all yellow welcome to beautiful indiana so i'm assuming these cutouts along this rock wall or stone something is what they're calling the seven pillars Not much to do in Indiana. It's all cornfields. And this is the first patch of woods that we've seen the whole way here. And speed limits are optional here. Like on the back roads where the cornfields are. People are passing me like I'm doing 70 and they're passing me. I was like, cool, we're on the highway again. We have arrived at the Vietnam Veteran Memorial Campground in Indiana. Here, we've got Mike K&L's 24D, as well as his SDK 24. It's not set up yet, but man, there is a good amount of wood here. Ton of wood. Uh, I didn't bring my splitter this year. It, it would have just been too long of a ride to haul that splitter without putting it on a trailer. But I'm here early as usual. Uh, figured I'd give you a little overview of what's here since I've never been here before. But there's still a good pile of wood inside the building here. I think this is stuff that they split last year. We uh, walked around the other side of the building to kind of take a gander at this. There's still a ton of wood in here. And I am assuming that this was all split last year, as well as the pile over here. But there are still some rounds here that we could throw on some machines. I know there's going to be a ton of Wolfridge equipment here. I uh, did a short this morning with the Wolfridge trailer. I uh, found it in the hotel next door to me. I think they've got uh, two machines on there. They've got the vertical splitter and it looked like they had an RS, but I know Outdoors with the 608 is bringing their RS. But yeah, I think there's these logs over here, hard working man's gonna set their uh, Dyna processor up for, to run some of these logs. These look like decent, nice straight sticks, not too big. But I don't know if there's enough wood here for that Dyna. This is a little load of logs. I think that Dyna will get this done in about an hour and a half maybe quicker man look at that birch that piece right here looks good this stuff smells so good but yeah that's it i just wanted to uh talk a little bit give you a little rundown of what's here before everything shows up uh we're supposed to be meeting somebody here here shortly uh it's about nine in the morning now everybody said they're going to be here about 10 in my world if you're not early you're late we showed up a little after nine o'clock. I thought I'd be uh, one of the first people here, but uh, this place is packed already. There's a bunch of saws going on. Let's go check it out. Got all this wood getting cut up.
Got a bunch of wood here. A bunch of equipment. We got Wolfridge, we got Easton made. We got all kinds of cool stuff here. Good morning, buddy. They told me I'd have somebody to feed me. <laughs> I'll come help you soon. Okay. Iowa tree surgeon. Yes, sir. What's up, brother? Got all kinds of good stuff going on over here. Team Wolfridge is getting it in. Big old conveyor, 32 foot wolf ridge. This thing's pretty cool. I wouldn't have any use for something this big, but if you're loading a semi, this thing will definitely feed it. But there's a ton of wood here. We still have to get the uh, Dyna processor set up. Everybody's recording this VS-17. It's a really cool machine. It looks like pretty much, well, almost everything over here is uh, bucked up. I might get my saw and walk over here and start cutting on some of this stuff here in a second. Let's just do one more walk up here to this Dyna processor. When I was pulling in, I saw Heath crawling out of his tent. But here we go. We've got the uh, Dyna Products SC16 fired up and ready to go. Looks like it's got the, uh, what's that, an eight way? One, two, three, six way. It's either a six or an eight. This thing's gonna pump out some wood. I still don't think we have enough wood for this processor. This little pile here is all we have for the processor. But we will see. For the amount of saws that are here and the amount of wood, I think we're gonna have this stuff uh, bucked up and split up pretty quick. Busting these up with the Wolfridge SS 3030 HD. These skid loader uh, attachments are awesome when you got these monster rounds. You bust it up into smaller pieces and then split it with your uh, wood splitter. But we got uh, a lot of rain moving in as I uh, expected. We got Joe's Premium Firewood. Rain's coming. Rain's uh, coming. Yeah, it's here. We got. It's ready to hit. We better take shelter. We got more stuff going on back here. I didn't even know this splitter was here. This is a power split. A vertical with a four-way on it. This is one of the machines that is self-propelled. It'll drive itself, which I think is really cool. You don't need a tractor or anything. The only thing I would change with these is I would make the working height on the table a little bit higher, maybe a foot higher, because I am about 6'3". Let's go look at some more cool stuff. We got Jay with Iowa Tree Surgeon. He brought his skid steer with the big old bucket. And because we are splitting into dump trailers, the dump trailers are dumping outside. And then uh, he's just pushing it in here with the skid loader. It's a lot easier this way. But the before and after of yesterday of how much wood we've split already today. There's a ton of wood here. Well, my beautiful wife, Taryn, decided to show up. Say hi to everybody on hi, YouTube. Everybody. And uh, we brought Miss Veda with us. And we also had a good friend of ours, Alexa, who was in Chicago, where she lives 
reach out and say, hey, I'm only about three hours away. I'm gonna come see you guys. So here's Miss Alexa with Mr. Noah. He's having a hard time. This is a lot for Noah. He doesn't like all this loud noise and stuff. How you doing, Mr. Al? I'm doing awesome. I love all this stuff. So the Wolfridge crew over here had to take a break because they have split everything that was on their side. So as of right now, I would say Team Wolfridge is winning. Woo! There we go. So this was only about, I guess, maybe 45 minutes ago where we were in here when Jay was pushing the pile. This whole stall is full now. This is awesome that we've split this much wood. We'll call it an hour. Tons of wood here. And there's so much black walnut in here. I hate to see this stuff be firewood, but it smells so good when it burns. It's almost as sweet as cherry. I'd say a little bit sweeter. Mini, that, that, that's what everyone needs now, is mini. This is the way to do it here. Got the mini excavator loading the uh, tractor up so that he could take more wood over to Wolfridge. They had a smaller pile, but uh, they're almost done everything, so they're moving some of the stuff down here over to them. That's the Easton made power right there, baby. Yeah, man. All righty, so for those of you that were guessing on my short of what I was bringing home from Wolfridge, I got the Wolfridge bagging station with the one cubic foot barrel and the .75 barrel and then the bags. Those were the three items that were strapped down individually on Wolfridge's trailer. So that's what I got, those three items. Uh, it's pretty cool to, uh, have some Wolfridge equipment on the channel. You know, I'm all about making life easier. Oh, and also, I never win anything, but I won this in the raffle here. Now uh, they had, uh, I think, 50 prizes to give away at the raffle at the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria. 
And again, everything gets donated to the veterans. Um, this is a great cause. Uh, it's, it's been a great day. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I couldn't imagine this, dude. No more processing for me. So once again, the Wolfridge machines are almost done the pile that they keep bringing over here. They bring it and they split it. And they split it fast. Stacy's over here going primitive on us. That's hard work right there. Absolutely not. Made in America, great people, right in Wisconsin. Yeah. Neighbors to me. Yeah. Perfect equipment. Andrew Eason never said one bad thing about them. Never. And vice versa, Chris Wolf has never said anything bad about them. Nope. You got it. I mean, you, you just can't beat it. No. Can't beat. The equipment stands for itself. Exactly. But yeah, the pile of wood that Wolfridge had here, it just, it keeps disappearing. It's all gone. They keep bringing more and it keeps disappearing. Yeah. So, you, no matter what, if it's Wolfridge, Eastwood, Easton Bay, Timberwolf, whatever, buy what makes you happy. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. More stuff to play with. Look at all this wood.
we've got one, two, three, four dump trailers that are all full that need to be dumped. There's been a ton of wood split here today. Just incredible how this community has come together for the veterans for such a great cause. There's dump trailer number two. Some nasty stuff. The axis over here doesn't have a conveyor. They gotta sit here and hand fill this trailer. You gotta remember though, this morning when we were here, the wood pile that was here was all the way through here. And we've got a good bit gone which is amazing. And Mike was seriously questioning if we had enough wood. And there is so much wood here still. I think we'll get it done here soon. And I think we got Mr. In the Woodyard Chris over here making a chair. Let's go look and check this out. Oh man, it hurts me to sit here and not help him. Not only does Chris in the woodyard make a ton of firewood, he also makes chairs. How cool is that? Well, there's only a few crotchy, nasty pieces left that they will probably just throw in their big fire pit and they will use these as all-nighters. But this is all that's left. So if you remember, this whole piece right here was just full of wood. It's all gone. Between the Wolf Ridge crew, the Easton Maid crew, 
and everybody that brought a dump trailer, a truck, a piece of equipment, a tractor. They got so much wood split this weekend. This is a good bit of wood, I'd say. Oh, wow. They even started dumping over here. I didn't even know they were dumping over here. I tell you, after running this 24D today, when I get back home to the 916, it's gonna feel like a box door splitter. This thing is a beast. What do you think, Mike? What do you think, Jack? I think today was a great day. I want to thank you for having me out here yeah, and for doing this and, and doing this for the veterans. This is yes. a great turnout. So happy that everybody just got everything done. Like yeah, everybody just this was up. all wood and it's all done. Shows up and everybody works super hard and uh, it's, a, it's a good day, good cause. Absolutely. Yeah, exhausted again. I'll be here next year. Sweet. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. So we made it back from the Hoosier firewood hysteria. So takeaways from this trip, it was about 10 and a half hours for us to get out there and we made it back in 10 hours, but what an amazing couple days, um, getting to see the Midwest a little bit, the flat open land everywhere, and then getting to go to the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria and being able to help out the veterans. There wasn't one person that showed up that didn't get their hands dirty Friday or Saturday. And it was awesome that Mr. Mark from Easton Maid showed up from Canada to help support our troops, which is, uh, you know, great. It's awesome. You know, thank you, Mark. It was great that uh, Wolfred showed up. Mr. Chris Wolf was there, Bob Nelson, and Norm. Uh, you know, they, they busted their butt all day. Um, and everybody just, it was just a humbling event. Uh, so many good people, so many great YouTube personalities that aren't really personalities, they're people. You know, what you see on a lot of these channels is really who we are and what we are about. And I was just honored to be able to give back and help out a little bit. I was very thankful for all the help that Mike gave me prior to the event. I mean, he set up a web page, he's had an event page set up, you know. I messaged him, said, where's good hotels? He, he told me everything. So it was very well organized, very well prepared. Uh, the folks of the Midwest, man, everybody brought so much firepower. So many tractors, skid loaders, splitters, chainsaws, everything. It was just phenomenal. Uh, all the door prizes for the raffles, that was phenomenal. I mean, it was a really good time. And hands down, this is my favorite firewood event that I have been to thus far in my YouTube journey and my little firewood journey. So hopefully next year I get to see you there because next year I know we'll be even bigger and we'll split even more wood. So we'll catch you back next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad I was able to take you along and show you my perspective of this little event. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you back here next week. Thanks, guys.